It is the iconic symbol that represents the city of Westlaco. Some residents refer to it as Tinaco, the Spanish word for water tower. It was completed in 1941 and sits in the heart of town. It's a Texas historical landmark, a rare concrete water tower with unique architecture. Its holding tank below serves as a community theater where Westlaco's youth take part in the summer tower theater program. It's also part of an old city tradition. That's how the residents would know if Westlaco had won or not. And, and that's what I remember you know, growing up as a kid. Uh, if, you know, we didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't get, we didn't get to go to the game, we, we were able to look at the water tower, and if the water tower was lit, then we know we won. And if it didn't light up, then we lost. It's a tradition that started in 1971. Whenever the Panthers would win a Friday night football game, the water tower would light up to signify the victory. In the early 2000s, when Westlaco East would win a game, the tower would light up for them too. The tradition has been on and off over the past few years due to a contracting company taking over the water tower. But now it's back for good. We've been getting a lot of calls, uh, turn on the, the water tower, uh, because people remember that, 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 that tradition. This time the tradition will have a new twist, because now the lights are colored, so when the Panthers win or the Wildcats win, the colored lights will represent each high school. The city, in fact, can light it up in any color to represent the different causes, like pink for breast cancer awareness, or even red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. It's a project the city has been working on for the past few months now. The goal? Get it ready for this Friday for Tinaco Bowl 5, the annual intra-city rivalry between West Laco High School and West Laco East. On Tuesday, crews were done, and Tuesday night, the tower was lit up for the first time in colored lights. This new city tradition will be the responsibility of Jerry Granados. He is the grandson of Cuckoo Granados, who was first tasked with lighting up the structure in the 1970s. And after the game, uh, once he would know the score that they would win, he would run, not run, but he would drive into the water tower and light up the tower. In the 70s, it was a switch at the bottom of the tower that powered up the lights. For Jerry, he'll be using new technology to get the job done. Yeah, I can be at the stadium and I don't have to go across town or from another city, I can do it from my phone. The tradition begins Friday when West Local High and West Local East meet in Tinaco Bowl 5. The water tower will be lit because okay. somebody's going to win. So West Local will win. I don't know if it's going to be the Panthers or the Wildcats, but somebody's going to win. This is Carlos Roberto for KWEST TV.